What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful channel. Today we have one of the last two introduction videos for this series. Today sugar will be introduced to us and I'm pretty excited because I like sugar uh, but I still don't know anything about him. I just kind of know how he looks but I know he has a great voice and um, I know that he can dance. That is basically everything. So I believe this is actually the longest introduction video with 26 minutes. You can watch right now on the last introduction video for Jin on my Patreon account if you want to support me because I'm doing this for a living currently. You don't have to support me, but um, yeah, I'm really thankful for everybody who supports me in any way. Just with a thumbs up or a subscription or, you know, whatever is affordable for you. Um, I thank you all for just being here and watching with me. Um, cool videos together so yeah thank you all for just being here and helping me out on my journey okay and yeah i'm pretty excited to get to know sugar i don't want to get this video longer as it should be because it's already long enough i, I believe so let's just start oh my gosh hello we are back hello i'm so excited today we'll be discussing sugar's story and i'll try <sighs> my best to make it unbiased he is the okay. sweetest little boy though all right, let's begin. Before joining Big Hit, Sugar was an underground rapper slash producer in his hometown Daegu and went by the name Gloss, which Gloss. is essentially one of the English translations of his real name Yoongi. He oh, was okay. also a part of an underground rapper group called Daegu Town. <laughs> That's nine years ago. Okay, that was a bit loud. Okay, so, but he was already at Big Hit at this point. Sugar has said previously that he decided to pursue a career in music after listening to Ragamuffin by Stony Skunk in the 6th grade and decided on becoming a rapper after listening to Fly by Epic High. Oh, that's cool. Oh yeah, I love his energy. He looks so good on stage! Okay! Okay! That was pretty good! Okay, that was After pretty good. Becoming interested in pursuing this career, he began skipping meals and walking around every day for two hours in order to save up enough money for equipment he needed as a lyricist. Baby boy oh, is so hardworking. He was introduced to big hit through hit and auditions and ended up placing second overall. Fast 
Okay, it's pretty good. For his first audition tape, it's pretty good. Looks pretty confident. That's a pretty good audition tape. He's really cool and confident. He really hates it. I, I just want to point out I'm so I'm so happy for every single one of them. Like when we see like the audition tapes and old clips of them being normal people or like undiscovered at the moment, I'm so happy for them. Um, that they've made it so far. I'm just happy for them. <laughs> okay, you're a big hit as a producer and not as a member of BTS. Oh, okay. But Bang PD convinced him to join by telling him that the group would be a pure hip hop and all rap group and yeah. would have no dancing or cliche concepts. However, as time passed, the group's that changed concept a bit. changed and more vocalists and dancers joined the group's lineup. Because of this, Sugar threatened to quit. He also became really? anxious for debut after training for three years and wondered if it was even going to happen. Because of these anxieties, he threatened to leave again. But my boy decided to just chill and pull through. And thank yeah. God he did. Because thank I God can't even talk. imagine the group without him. And finally BTS debuted on the 13th of June 2013. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, goosebumps, guys. Now for some facts. Suga's real name is Min Yoongi, and he was born on the 9th of March, 1993, and is a Pisces. How many people are there? Holy crap, okay. released a mixtape last summer under the name August okay there's so much songs we have to listen to like there are the normal songs BTS published and every single member has published their own songs mixtapes or covers <sighs> okay I'm overheating guys um, we have to catch up on everything but I'm here for it I'm here for it guys I'm excited the, I want to dive this into everything included 10 tracks of complete bliss 10 out of 10 would recommend. Okay, oh, okay, okay, we definitely check that out soon. There's a meaning behind okay. the name of the and it's this. The first four letters are just sugar backwards, and the DT that's left stands for Daegu Town, which, like I said before, was the underground oh. rapper group he was in before debut. How cool is that? August D. Oh, I love when the names are having like a meaning behind them. 
He's called himself this in a few BTS songs before. That's and cool. also sometimes refers to himself as a D-boy. Holy shit, he's really good. He's really good. Right now that I've mentioned his mixtape, I can bring up his older brother. Yoongi has an older brother named Minjun Ki. And okay. honestly, there's not much out there about him. Oh, but okay. He's featured in a skit on Yoongi's mixtape. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool to that's cool of him to say it. Of course it is, sure. That is what family is for. Yungi's roles in the group are lead rapper. I already love the choreos, guys. Okay. And producer, he's helped produce and compose dozens of BTS's songs. And That's is just cool. such a talented and hardworking man. That's so Always cool. Always appreciate the effort he puts into the albums. That is so cool. That they are so involved. Yeah. Many people, especially newer fans, think of Yoongi as cold hearted, and it's easy to understand why, because sometimes he can come off as just that. But as you dig yourself deeper into this hole known as BTS, you is. discover that he is such a caring person and just has a hard time showing his emotions. He's a cute little sweetheart. Yeah, same for me. <laughs> I can't express my emotions like <laughs> as much as I wanted to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like the the big kid mascot or something like that? I don't know. <laughs> Yoongi has a dog named Min Holly, and he loves him so much, oh my god. I think Yoongi has a soft spot for dogs in general, because if you guys have watched the newest run episode, you would have seen that he is so in love with Demi. LMAO. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was cute. Oh no. Oh my god. How cute is that? True, like father, like son. Let's talk about Yoongi's family. Yoongi has said before that his parents were strongly opposed to his career decision for about half a year. They wanted him to become a civil human being and live a stable life. 
but he says that they thankfully are now two of the most supportive people he has in his life. Yoongi has the cutest gummy smile, and it only shows when he's actually having a good old laugh. And now I'll add in some clips of that because hell yes, baby. <laughs> He really has a cute smile though. <laughs> Yoongi has such a great sense of humor, and maybe I'm just saying that because it fits mine best, but he really does make me laugh so hard because of some of the shit he says. LMAO. Such a goof. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, they're looking so good in those suits. Holy shit. I need to buy a suit. I do not own... Well, I own a suit, but not a good looking one. <laughs> Classic Shuga. one. By Yellow Rhino 7. What inspires you to write lyrics? Inspire? Oh, inspire? Inspires? Inspires, man! Yeah! Inspire, inspire, inspire man! Yeah! Inspire, man. yeah. Over the years, Yoongi has endured a few visits to the hospital. The first one being when he was discovered to have appendicitis on the 8th of December 2013, and went into surgery early the next morning on the 9th oh, of December. Damn. And the second time being last year, on the 20th of December when he tripped and injured his ear. This injury prevented him from performing at BTS's end of the year performance, and also left him with a little scar on his ear that you can oh. see sometimes. Okay. Yoongi also played basketball before debut and loves the sport. He said he's quick on his feet and the position he usually played was either point guard or shooting guard. Okay. Okay, yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah, you can see he, he trained it. He's pretty good. Damn, okay. Okay. He has also struggled with social anxiety and depression in the past, and still deals with it today sometimes. He's mentioned his battle with depression in a few BTS songs. Damn, okay. One, for example, being their song Tomorrow. But he really dug deep into his past on his mixtape and discussed many other serious topics he's dealt with in life so far. And seriously, it's just such a good mixtape. It's on SoundCloud, come on, dude. Just give it a listen if you haven't done so before. I really think it gives fans a better insight to who he really is. You definitely gotta listen to it in the future, guys. Don't worry. Okay. 
Okay. Last fact is that Yugi can play piano, and there's only a few clips out there of him actually playing. But each video of him doing so really just makes me feel some type of way and just Jesus, I am in love. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay. Oh yeah, you can see he's feeling. He's feeling it. Look at his face. He's feeling the music. now for his relationships with the other members. Jin, these guys are the two oldest Hyungs in the group, and since their age difference is so small, they get along and relate to each other well. But Jin is still eldest, and he never lets Yoongi forget that, usually by telling him not to interrupt him while he's speaking. LMAO, they're also roommates, so I'm sure that helps them to be close. <laughs> J-Hope, once again, soap for the win. I already talked about these two in last week's episode, but J-Hope really does bring out Yoongi's playful and energetic side. I think J-Hope just makes Yoongi happy all the time, and because of that, these two thrive together. <laughs> Rap Monster, two of the main producers and composers of the group. Nam June once said that to try to get to know Yoongi better, he used to go on walks with him. Nam June is just a bro, and Yoongi isn't good at showing affection, so they don't really have many physical moments, but they're still the best of friends. <laughs> Jimin. Ah yes, Yoongmin, another one of my favorite ships in the group. Yoongi has such a soft spot for Jimin oh my god. You can tell Yoongi really likes him and thinks he's a little cutie. Jimin clings on Yoongi a lot and tbh it just makes my heart flutter. Oh yeah this clip. This clip is really loud, it is really loud. It was really loud actually. Yeah, it <laughs> 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 That's cool. V, ah, alright these two have very different opinions and don't always agree on things, but they really are such close friends, and you can tell that they love each other nonetheless. I feel like they have a lot of off-camera moments, but the ones that are caught on tape are always cute. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. I'm pro at this game, by the way. I'm pro. I'm pro. I'm pro at this game. 
I lost already. No. Okay. Oh yeah, they're playing hide and seek, right? <laughs> Jungkook, Jung, he said it feels like he's raised Jungkook because when they first debuted Cook was only a teen, and now he's an adult. I think because of this, Jung, he has a soft spot for him too. They also always joke about opening a lamb skewers restaurant together after they retire. And it's just such a cute concept, oh my gosh, my heart. They need to do that. They need to do that. <웃음> <웃음> yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. All right. So let's recap. Yungi is an amazing man who can come off as cold and heartless sometimes, and people can mistake his blunt personality as being rude. But he truly is one of the most caring members. I think if you watch him closely and watch how he interacts with the other members you can see that he shows his love for them in small gestures. He just doesn't know how to express his emotions sometimes. Okay, I'll stop rambling. Please love him and appreciate everything he does for the group music wise. Because he really does work hard I to like make him. us good music and loves us and I think the least we could do is return the favor on the love part. Okay haha, ha. love you little D-boy. You've been my boy since day one. And you always will be. <laughs> okay. So, there is as always a little clip at the end, guys. I really like stage energy. I don't know. There are so many people. Okay. Okay, that was sugar, guys. That was sugar. We still have one left for gin, and I'm pretty excited for it. And um, yeah, looking forward to that, guys. Uh, even though the introduction series is a bit old, it is still great for me to see like little moments or like I don't know funny clips or just some clips of a live performance. And I have to say, I enjoyed every single live performance I've seen so far and I cannot wait to get into a full live performance and a full concert even um, but that is in the future as I said we definitely will check out the new introduction series which I'm already pretty excited for and um, yeah as I said one introduction video left and um, yeah Sugar was pretty great I like him you could I had a feeling like you could see that the creator of this introduction video like sugar a lot and um that he is uh, the bias of him or her 
but it is fine. It was still a good introduction video. And um, yeah, see you next time, guys, with the last one. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, have a great day.